Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Just here to inform you that I have been tagged. I was tagged by YouTube user Rick Bullet28. Uh, for those of you who don't know what the whole I've been tagged uh, thing is, it's a YouTube tradition that started like a few... Well, I don't know when it started to be exact, but it started a long time ago, and basically whenever you get tagged, you have to give five facts about yourself and then tag five other people. It was started by this one guy, and he kind of started the whole trend and the whole chain. And then he tagged five people, and those five people had to give five facts about themselves and then tag five other people. So kind of like the whole thing continues around YouTube until I guess everybody does it. I don't know. Something like that. So I'm here to give off five random facts about myself. Uh, I'm not a very interesting person, so there's really not going to be that many facts about me. But I'll do my best to name a few of them, I guess. Um, I guess my first fact is, uh, well, I am 20 years old, but I'm not gonna, that's not going to be the fact, though. The fact is that um, I am in college. I attend Ball State University in Muncie, Indiana. Um, I'm here uh, for advertising and journalism major. Uh, more focusing on advertising, but you have to go through like a pre-journalism program in order to get into advertising. So yeah, that's the first fact. I'm in college for advertising. Uh, second game, I mean second fact, oh jeez. Uh, my second fact is I guess I can name my favorite game of all time. Uh, naming a favorite game is actually really, really hard. Um, even though I'm a Kirby guy, um, most of my favorite games are Mario games. If I had to name three favorite games from Mario right off the bat, it'd have to be Super Mario World, Paper Mario, and Super Mario RPG. If I had to name any non-Mario games that would be my favorite, it would probably be Kirby Superstar... Uh, let's see, what other games do I like? Uh, Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. The whole, I like the whole Guitar Hero franchise and the Dynasty Warriors and Samurai Warriors franchises. So yeah, those are basically most of the games that I'm into and most of my favorite games, I guess. Oh, and of course the Mario Party games. I love the Mario Party games. Even if they do frustrate me a lot, uh, I still love them. They're great games. Okay, fact number three. Let me think for a second. Okay, here's one. Um, in one of my Mario Party videos, I mentioned something about me being a vegetarian, and I had some questions about that. So I'll go ahead and, you know, clear up those questions. Um, yes, I am a vegetarian. Uh, I don't eat any meat. However, it's not because I'm Oh, you gotta save the animals, or I think animal eating animals is wrong. That's not really it. That's not really why I'm a vegetarian. Uh, the thing is, I never really ate very much meat to begin with. I just don't like the taste of meat. It just doesn't taste very good at all to me. And, like, there was a few things I ate. I used to eat, like, chicken nuggets, and I used to eat, like, KFC chicken and Cajun popcorn chicken and stuff like that. And I was also a big fan of, like, bologna and stuff and uh, pepperoni pizza. So I did used to eat meat. But then, like, I don't know, just, like, one day out of the blue, I decided to become a vegetarian. So I'm not really a vegetarian, like, a traditional vegetarian. It's not like I hate all meat and I don't think people shouldn't eat meat. I just don't eat meat. I just, it's something I chose to do. I will say that it might not be something I'm going to continue to do for the rest of my life, like... I may go back to eating meat someday. It's not like I cut off all connections with me and meat or anything. It's not like I'm never going to eat meat again. It's just, I don't know, I just don't really have much of a preference to eating meat. I'm more of a fruit and vegetable guy. I like sandwiches. Like, I like grilled cheese sandwiches, like, more than anything. And, like, I generally find good, like, uh, alternatives, so... Yeah, it's... Okay, next I'm going to talk about, for my fourth fact, uh, my favorite Let's Player. And i got to admit, it's kind of hard to pick something like this, because I think some Let's Players 
do better with different kinds of games and other let's players like have a better personality but others might be more professional you know just stuff like that and it's kind of hard to choose a favorite let's player of all time but yeah it's here are just a, some of a few of my favorite let's players uh I, of course, I pretty much love anything Deceased Crab does. Um, a lot a lot of his Let's Plays are funny. He does a lot of unique games. Uh, a lot of games I never even heard of. And I really respect him for that because he does games that like nobody has ever done or games that nobody even heard of. Like, I had no idea La Mulana or Cave Story even existed. And, like, I really want both of those games right now. Because they're like, they just seem to be really fun games, and um, yeah, he's a really good let's player. If I had to pick a second favorite let's player, it'd probably have to be uh, Durden Seven Seven. He just has a very likable personality, and I really enjoyed Diddy Kong Racing. I enjoyed parts of uh, Rayman, and uh, his Super Mario Sixty Four. Although being mainstream, like I've enjoyed it really much right now. So yeah, he'd probably be my second favorite. Um, and just some other favorite Let's Players, maybe not even Let's Players, just like um, some people who are associated with the Let's Play community, like uh, Proton John, I say, uh, and uh, Azure Blade 47, I think. It's uh, Azure Blade 49, I think. I don't know his, uh, the numbers, but he does a lot of like brawl videos and then like ROM hack reviews of Mario games and stuff. Um, See, I also like uh, Cypheron. Uh, I forgot his numbers again. <laughs> Sorry, I'm forgetting all the numbers, guys. Um, and then X the Music. Uh, those are just a few of my favorite Let's Players and a few of the uh, great projects they've done in the past. Okay, the final fact of mine is going to be a little photo display. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what I look like. This is Slim Kirby that you see right in front of you. Uh, some of you have probably already seen this picture. It was used in uh, one of my videos in the past. But this is what I look like. Uh, here comes another photo. Uh, this photo is a picture of me with friends. To show the, that I at least have some form of a social life, I do have friends. I don't just sit at home making videos all day. I do have a social life. And, yep, that, that about ends the photo demonstration. I wish I had more photos, but those are the only two I had with me at the time. But that's about it. That's fact number five, so I better get along to posting the five people I am going to be tagging. Uh, the five people I am going to be tagging. The first one is going to be Shadow Mario XLI. The reason I'm tagging him is because he didn't want to be tagged, and then I agreed with him, but then he uh, dug up a bunch of holes in my Animal Crossing town, so as a result, I am going to tag him now. Uh, second person is Power to Mario. Third person is Cloud Strife, 5531. The fourth person is Jono Babes, uh, 03. And the final person is... Luigi the Dude 5094. I'm sorry if any one of you didn't want to be tagged, but I was kind of just looking for random people to tag. And I tried to choose people who could at least make videos, but who also didn't have a tagged video already. Because my list probably would have been a lot different if it, uh, those didn't come into play. But that's it. Those are my facts. Those are the people I'm tagging. And screw you, Rick Bullet, for tagging me.